With rising concerns about pollution, overcrowding and inefficient public transport, and a distinct lack of hover cars. Looking at you, Blade Runner, what could change in eight years? In this next decade, transport will be revolutionized with radical new inventions powered by renewable energy in response to the concerns of pollution and congestion. Since the advent of commercial flights in the 1950s, transport hasn't radically changed. Our cars, ships, trains, planes, and even bicycles may have had their functionality improved over the years, but they have essentially remained the same since their invention. But we're about to see the pace of change revving up dramatically. Are you ready for the future of transport? Make sure to check in by hitting the subscribe button. Why transport needs to change Now that we have the speed and immediacy of the internet, it's easy to forget how Henry Ford's car of the great multitude changed ordinary people's lives. Cheap, attainable transport for the masses transformed our society, freeing us to widen our horizons and employment possibilities. But the consequence of this mass adoption has led to pollution and city congestion, both unsustainable for the sake of our planet, human health, and happiness. Transporting people and goods is the largest contributor to UK carbon emissions. Responsible for 28%, in the US too, transportation is the second largest source of greenhouse gas emissions, after power generation, and accounts for 70% of all domestic oil consumption. So, will we see Blade Runner style cars cruising through the skies in the near future? Probably not yet, although imagining sci-fi modes of transport will always capture our imagination. Back to Earth, here are some of the revolutionary carbon reducing changes we are likely to experience in how we get from A to B until 2030. The change that's here. We're already experiencing the beginning of a revolution in transport and these changes are likely to ramp up dramatically between now and 2030. E-hailing rides, car sharing schemes, electric vehicles, EVs, electric scooters, drones, and even autonomous buses are already here. Delivery by drone is one of the immediate next advances, intended to reduce delivery van congestion and pollution while allowing us to keep the convenience of home delivery. The transition to EVs is also accelerating rapidly, with electric vehicles set to be the cars of our now and immediate future. The sale of new petrol and diesel cars will be banned by 2030 in the UK with 1.3 billion pounds or 1.5 billion dollars in UK government funding to support smart charging infrastructure for electric vehicles. The US has also announced that sales of nearly all gas and diesel powered cars and trucks in the state will be banned by 2035. The states say that it will be spending about 1 billion dollars or 0.8 billion pounds across all types of zero emissions vehicles over the next five years. Fuels for the future. Petroleum was first discovered in 1859, but our reliance on this fossil fuel has to end if we're to tackle climate change. Alternative renewable energy sources will continue to be investigated and implemented to fuel our transport. Electric battery powered cars are currently in pole position in the fuel race. But biogas, which is renewable and carbon neutral, and hydrogen are two petrol alternative and revolutionary possibilities for the future. Biogas provides an immediately available solution for HGVs and long-haul vehicles, which would also serve as a stepping stone in the transition to hydrogen, as its infrastructure is adaptable for future hydrogen needs without the need for rebuilding. Hydrogen is potentially and environmentally an ideal fuel. Current challenges for hydrogen at scale are manufacturing it into a usable form for transport. Hydrogen may well be the future solution for heavy goods vehicles and long-distance journeys, including transporting people and freight by rail. Early hydrogen hubs for transport can be expected by the early 2030s. There are currently over 100 hydrogen fueling stations in the US, most of which are in California, as that's where almost all fuel cell vehicles are currently. However, the US government's goal is for there to be 200 hydrogen stations in California by 2025, with a total of 1,000 envisioned by 2030. Once refueling stations are then added in other states, the number of fuel cell vehicles will grow across the country. Almost 50 hydrogen refueling stations will be required in the UK by 2030. There are two UK projects underway, Future Grid, which is trailing hydrogen mixes and off-grid gas pipelines, and Project Union, exploring the development of a UK hydrogen backbone joining together industrial clusters around the country. In the US, we have the Hygrid project in Point Lookout, Long Island which will blend green hydrogen into the existing gas distribution system to heat approximately 800 homes. 
and fuel 10 municipal vehicles. This project can potentially be applied on a larger scale as we work toward decarbonizing the energy system. In the future, we may see large-scale charging hubs for HGVs, buses, and public fleets, such as council and blue light vehicles. All in one location to minimize disruption, we may see the end of the bus depots in central locations, and the opportunity for town and city planners to create pleasant social spaces. Autonomous Vehicles, AVs, and AI AVs combined with artificial intelligence, AI, will provide a future of convenience and comfort when it comes to future transport. Banished to yesteryears will be the bus timetables and shelters and nose to bumper stress driving. Self-driving public vehicles running on advanced algorithms will pick up people who are going in the same direction. In the future, robot vehicles may look entirely different from the hands-free, big-screen version we expect. Envision a transport capsule that blurs the boundaries between home, car, entertainment center, workplace, and well-being hub, and a whole new in-car services industry. Central AI software may control urban traffic systems, directing traffic flow so congestion and road accidents are both consigned to history. The UK's government Future of Mobility Fund has already funded three self-driving pilot projects. Driven, a trial fleet of fully autonomous vehicles in urban and interurban areas that will culminate in autonomous journeys in Oxford and London. Robopilot, creating autonomous driving for an electric delivery van that could be adapted to buses and larger trucks. And Streetwise, a demonstration of the technology, safety, validation, insurance, and service models for autonomous personal mobility to replace the urban commuter car. In the US, Ford, Argo, AI, and Walmart are collaborating on a delivery service located in Austin, Miami, and Washington. The service will use Ford's self-driving vehicles paired with Argo, AI's self-driving system technology. According to executives, delivery capacity is projected to expand over time. Autonomous ships are expected to be crossing seas shortly. Advanced AI can calculate optimized routes and maximize speed by using weather and sea currents data. Using maritime data already produced through ships, smart systems could be the biggest way forward in commercial shipping since the introduction of containers. Supersonic Speeds Elon Musk called his open source idea for a Hyperloop train system a cross between a Concorde, railgun, and an air hockey table. By 2030, Virgin Hyperloop could be whisking people and freight from London to Edinburgh in 45 minutes, or between New York and Washington DC in just 30 minutes. Reaching speeds of up to 670 miles per hour, the futuristic pods in Virgin Hyperloop are powered by electromagnets that push them through a vacuum tube, which eliminates the air resistance experienced by other modes of transport, flying taxis, and drone deliveries. It may sound like something out of the Jetsons, but flying taxis or electric-powered vertical takeoff and landing VTOL aircraft are actually being developed right now. By 2030, they could be nearing commercial reality. Taking taxis to the skies would reduce congestion on roads and offer a quicker, more efficient way of getting around. But there are a few issues that need to be resolved in the coming years, mainly those of noise pollution, powering the vehicles with zero emissions technologies, and ensuring they operate safely in already overcrowded cities. The technology behind flying taxis is similar to that of drones, with smaller propellers around the outside of the vehicle, supporting a cockpit in the middle. A much more practical deployment of this kind of tech would be using these vehicles for deliveries. This has already been tested by the likes of Google and rural geographies and means deliveries can reach homes more quickly. Plus, these drones could reach locations that are inaccessible by road. By 2030, we could see wider scale aerial delivery in urban areas too, completely changing the way we order and receive our goods. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel with bell notifications on. Click the video on the right to find out how scientists are able to create artificial life without reproductive cells, or click the video on the left to watch our latest video. Do you see yourself taking a flying taxi drone in the future? Let us know in the comment section down below. We'll be back with another amazing video soon. See you in the next video.